Hey everyone, it's Jason from Red Style Media. I'm here with Peter Jensen Biffle, who just recorded a Lightroom tutorial, which will be out shortly. It's going to be amazing. I have a tutorial for you. It's my first tutorial, um, and it's going to be a weird one. I'm going to try to show the effect I did on an upcoming music video for The Other Bones, where I split the channels. This is what the effect kind of looks like. It's hard to get a good idea of it just because there is a projection on her face as well, but you can see that there is her image, a green, blue, and a red channel being split, and it's kind of drifting apart. To do this, I'm going to use footage that I recently shot of a wonderful skier here, just hanging out. I'm going to drop the quality because my computer is running kind of slow, and let me go to the start of the clip where I want to start it. I did a little camera move and I'm going to hit option left bracket to trim my clip and I'm going to just drag it over to the front and I'm going to go to the tail end of it which is probably around there I can hit option end bracket or I can just drag it right out and hold the shift key it'll snap right to it I'm actually just going to trim my comp as well right down if you hold your shift key while dragging it'll snap right to it and if you right click you can trim the comp to work area so there we go that's everything right there. So, let me set my window to something everyone can actually see, which would be standard. And I'm going to duplicate my um, footage twice. It actually looks like I may have duplicate. I may have dropped down the comp, but that's okay. So we have three comps or footage in there three times and what we want to do is offset each one by about two frames so let me get in real in here if you hit um page down and page up you can bounce go by one frame at a time so we got two frames and let's go two more frames and bring the next one in. All right, so now, as you can see, it's going all wild there. And then once they're offset by two frames each, we can drag it all back out. Hold the shift key again, bring it right to the little scrubber here. So now we're just seeing the first one, the first image in the, the first layer. We're going to go into our presets and effects and search for shift channels and drag that right onto our footage. So up here in the shift channels effect panel, we can decide what we want to affect. Um, for take from alpha, I'm just going to leave that there. For red, I'm going to do full off, so it's turning all the red off. For green, I'm going to do full off, so it's turning all the uh, green off. So now we're left with a blue image, which looks awful. We're going to turn that layer off, just hide it, go down to the next one, and we're going to also bring that over. We're going to go take from the red, turn it full off, take from the green, we're just going to leave that on. And then from take from the blue, turn that full off. So now we have a green. So we'll turn that one off. And then you can probably guess what we have for this one. We want it to be red. So we're going to bring shift channels over. Do keep red on. And we're going to go to green, full off, blue, full off. And now we have a red image. So at this point, we want to be able to get these to shine through to the one below it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our blending mode, same, same mode right here. If you don't have this, go down to toggle switches and modes, it'll switch it. And go to, click on the normal and go to add. And that start, that's starting to bring the effect in. If we go to normal to the, next, the second layer, hit add, and then that starts to bring it in. So as you can see, we starting to have these all come together and because of the movement and because the movement in the shot 
and because we offset them, we're starting to see all the channels split up. And it's getting a cool effect. Definitely not an effect that can be used for everything, um, but definitely a cool effect. Now if you watch like his hands come up, you can see them come apart and then pull back together. That's kind of a cool effect. What we can also do to make this stand out a little bit is we can bring in optics compensation to kind of help our, our footage kind of bend a little bit. Um, you would use this for maybe like fixing fisheye to, to adjusting it so it's more of a normal, um, you know, not curved. We're going to use it in the reverse. So let's bring it down to our second layer. Let's hit reverse lens distortion. If I didn't hit reverse and we brought it in, it would be pulling it in. Like a, like a polarizing effect or a sphere effect or something. If we do the reverse of it, it'll start to bow it out, which will really make our stuff look crazy. What I did for the music video was I just brought it up until right when it started to, to move. Which if you look at the trees, I'm trying to touch the screen as if you can see it. But if, if I did the same thing. If you bend the if you bend it a little bit, you can start to see the trees and the, the background move. And then I just took this one and I dropped it on the last layer and just I hit you go up there, you can hit hit on that, hit command C or control C if you're on a PC, and then command or control V to duplicate to paste it onto the bottom footage. I didn't do it to the top one just because I wanted some resemblance of an actual image still there. Um, but you can if you want. I mean, it's all about playing around and making something that looks cool, um, which I think we have. And that's basically all you have to do. Um, you can obviously go in and do some toning adjustments and um, color adjustments to make them look a little bit more, a little different. You can go in here and go to town on these do whatever you want to make something look cool. This was, the band had an idea for an effect, showed me some examples, and I tried my best to duplicate it, and they were really happy with it. And that is the effect. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, send me a message, and thanks for watching. Dude.